It's a, a good question around the safety of Revlimid maintenance. Clearly, we use Revlimid maintenance in the first remission post-transplant. So our patients by this time are usually in a very good response from their multiple myeloma. This is a period of time when they have very good quality of life. So it's very, very important that whatever maintenance strategy we use, we use it uh, with the minimum of toxicity. What are the toxicities you need to look out for? Well, hematological toxicity and neutropenia and thrombocytopenia are key issues that you need to manage with dose adjustments with GCSF. We're aware that some patients get fatigue and that can be an issue for patients and some patients come off maintenance because of fatigue. Some patients get some early morning diarrhea, uh, which is something we also have to watch out for. We don't, in the maintenance setting, so we see many other adverse effects. Uh, one of the side effects that we need to watch out for, though, is secondary primary malignancies. There is evidence there is a slight increased risk. I, I will emphasize it for slight or very minor increased risk. But nevertheless, our myeloma patients who've had frontline therapy, transplant, and recommend maintenance, we should, when we're seeing them, have half a thought about making sure they're not developing another malignancy as well as their myeloma.